Welcome everyone! Welcome to my 100% playthrough of Strife Veteran Edition on Elite. This is Map 6. Ugh. Sewers. Ding! Oh goody, here we are at long last in the sewers. The sewers of Tarnhill, yep. As a 90s FPS, that you have to have at least one sewer level. It is an unwritten law. But, I'll go ahead and tell you, this level is a bit twisty and turny. It is a sewer, after all, but it's not that bad. And I'm going to show you the easiest, quickest path that I know. Which is also the most painless. Now, one thing I will say is we're also going to be taking a brief detour into map 7 as well while we play through this level, but a very, very brief detour. For now, we must open the way into the actual sewers themselves, and not just this starting chamber here. And that switch does just that. Go ahead and grab some supplies, and yes, environmental suits. Go ahead and keep those... Yeah, go ahead and keep those selected on your inventory screen, because you're going to need them. Matter of fact, I'll turn one on right now. Because once you go in here, the rads start accumulating. But, let's go ahead and take out all these flying bastards here. Damn. Damn sentinels. Now, I'll go ahead and say there's a few sentinels that are actually inside of monster closets at the moment. And they actually do not get freed until after you complete the main objective within the sewers, which is... Oh, well, well, we'll find out what it is later. Basically, you're going to forge open the path to the castle to storm it. Really put a dent in the orders, numbers, and their morale levels. But for right now, let's just go ahead and take out all the flying bastards. As well as the walking bastards. And we're going to go through here first. Oh, hang on. Yet another one. We're going to go through the left-hand path first. This one down here. This one leads to where you have to go for the story objectives. So we're going to go through this shorter path first. There is a field surgery kit up there. It's not a secret, by the way. The secret is actually in the room containing the <laughs> main objective of this map. So let's not worry about secrets right now. For now, let's go inside of storage. Go ahead and snipe off that acolyte who so kindly dropped his mag for us. And then go inside here, and in here, not only do we have a bunch of lovely, lovely supplies, we also get... Oh yeah, the grenade launcher. And immediately unequip it because it is incredibly dangerous <laughs> to use in close quarters. I'll describe how it works in the next map. We are not going to be using it here because it is far, far too dangerous. That's all you have to know right now. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn on the Enviro suit and get the other one out of storage. Whip that assault right or uh, assault gun back out or Type 100, whatever, whatever have you. And let's just let her rip. There are plenty of baddies to take out in these sewers. Oh, you think it's bad for you, Blackbird? You're hidden underground. I'm the one actually wading through all this crap. I hope you appreciate my efforts. That switch will raise those bars over there. But before we advance, let's go ahead and grab the field surgery kit, as well as this magazine that the Acolyte dropped from above. And, uh, yeah, keep on going. Alright, once we get back to here, we're going to want to... Yeah, that just leads back to where we were. Oh, thought that was a sentinel I saw. We're going to go this way, past the bars, which have now been raised. And some of those sentinels you're hearing are the ones that are trapped in the walls. So you cannot actually get them yet. So, yeah, don't worry about them too much for right now. Matter of fact, two of them are actually right behind this wall right here. But there is one just floating about. Now, uh, Waran, the Rat King, is actually just in that area there with the friendly NPCs. 
But we're not going to be going there just yet. We actually want to go the other way now. We don't want to leave any stone unturned. So now we're inside the right-hand path from the beginning uh, chamber, whatever. And then we're going to go right up this waterfall steps. <laughs> and then at this juncture, we're going to go straight. We'll actually take that other elevator in a bit. But for right now, we're going to go straight. And go up the elevator and watch out. There's going to be a stalker waiting right up here for you. We'll use our mini missile launcher of deadly, deathly danger. Take care of him. And take out Mr. Acolyte Face along with his ID card. Which I'm not going to lie, I don't fully know what the ID card does in this map, if anything. But grab it anyway. Surely is of at least some importance. Anyway, now we go back out through here and looky here. We're right back where we were just about 30 seconds ago. I hate to say it, but this reminds me of home. I'm underground, not that far from here. I bet your home smells a lot better than this place and these people. Ugh. What are they, bathing in sewage? Actually, they probably are. Hell, I probably just wouldn't bathe at all if that were my only option. Anywho, go through this door. Go ahead and grab the lovely supplies, which you can grab for free. Along with some magazines. And then at the top of these here stairs, yep, there's Waran. I'm going to take your gold first. Hope you don't mind, Mr. Rat King. Now, let's deal, sir. Ah, a surfacer in need of a favor. Down here you do a favor to get a favor. And I need the town entrance that is our path to food opened. The order has it sealed and guarded. Where is the gate mechanism, Mr. Peter Lorry? Do my favor first, or you will get squat from me. Everybody is so needy. How will you know it's open? Bring me back the guard's uniform. That way, one of my rat fellows can wear it, and no one will try to shut the door again. Great. Now we're shopping for the Rat King. You want his uniform? Open the door, bring me the uniform, and we trade. Otherwise, piss off. I bet this guy smells really bad, too. Yeah, if the flies surrounding him wasn't a big enough clue. So, Mr. Waran wants us to get a guard uniform. And he doesn't specify this completely, but it is from one of the acolytes in town. So, that is where the other elevator door that I mentioned a bit earlier comes into play. We're gonna go... Yeah, those sentinels are within walls, by the way, so don't worry about those idle noises. We're going to go back down here, into the goop, and then over to the right side door. Go ahead and get the mini missile launcher back out. And those missiles kind of look like fingers. You're launching fingers at opponents. But let's launch these explosive fingers at these here enemies. We have stalkers, and we have sentinels. Yes, lots of sentinels in this map, so be ready for them. There are quite a lot of them, and you are going to run low on rifle ammo. I'm just going to let you know that right now. But anywho, for right now, let's go ahead and raise the platform by way of that switch there. Go this way. Watch out for the stalkers on the ceiling. And then heading this way will take you back into town. And you can use the assault gun because the door... The, the guard is just on the other side of this door, and the other door is closed. So you can use the rifle without any worry. And now you can't because the door is open. But we don't have to because we just got his uniform. Aw, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head out. Back down into the lovely, lovely sewers. Alright, we just got Mr. Rat King his uniform that he wanted. So his rat fellows can go to the surface for food and water. And whatever else. So now we must simply pay him a visit one more time. And doing so will unlock the rest of the sewers for you. And then the real fun begins. Oh yes. You didn't think we were done with this level yet, did you? I hope not. We got plenty more adventuring in this lovely smelly pit to do. Excuse me, rat fellows. I must see your king. You're not the rat king. Why are you in this chamber? Excuse me. Mr. Lorry. Where are you, Mr. Lorry? There you are. Have you brought me what I want? <laughs> yes. How about this uniform? Good. Here's something 
extra. My fellows tore this off of a fallen crusader. It's the parts that make up a flamethrower. Now Irali can make one for you. You can have such fun. Where's the gate mechanism? You have to enter another part of the sewers. To get there, you must enter the castle from a sewer maintenance door and drain the fluid reclamation tank. At the bottom is the hidden entrance to sewers. And right beyond that is the manual gate control. More sewers, great. I wonder what lives down there. I suspect we are about to find out. Anything else you can do, Mr. Lori? Good luck. I've opened several of our tunnels for you. It should make your task easier. Oh, size 10. Perfect. But dreadful colors. It's the same color as your outfit. I guess you don't like what you're wearing. Thanks for your help. Okay, so the rest of the sewers are now officially open, and now the real adventure can finally begin. And also, if you caught that part of the dialogue, Mr. Waran gave us the parts to a flamethrower, which Arali can make into a working flamethrower. That's this thing right here. Now, you can go back to town now and get it if you want. I am not going to. I usually wait until we're done in the sewers and then get the flamethrower on the way to the castle, which is after this map. So for now, we'll just take this newly opened path and continue onward. And let's get the Enviro suit back out. Go ahead and pop it right now. Why can't we do a mission in a field of flowers? Oh no! It's a trap full of flying bowling balls. Good news is they're not that robust. A couple of mini missiles and they're down for the count. Alright. So before we go any further this way, let's open this door. Watch out for the acolyte on the other side. And then through this door here, take this teleporter. And we're back in this area. Nice little shortcut. And then opening... Actually, let's not press that yet. Let's keep going this way. Go down the stairs a bit and you'll hear this little stone uh, piece open. Revealing a couple of stalker boys. And then go down here all the way. For another stalker boy. And you realize we are at a dead end. And none of these three doors open from this side so we must find an alternate path. And here is where the detour to the next map comes into play. Throw that switch to open this door, and onward to the castle. Temporarily, of course. And as you can see, yeah, the castle has 77 total kills, but no secrets. And there's only, like, I think five things to kill here in this part of the castle. This part of the castle is connected to the rest of it, but only by way of a force field. Which we, of course, cannot do anything about at the moment. But we'll see the door from the other side once we actually enter the castle proper. For now... Let's go ahead and take out those spidey boys, and I think that's it. I think there's only four. Three stalkers and one acolyte. There's an NPC inside the control room here, but he's friendly. Or at least non-hostile. There's another way into the sewers. Throw that switch and then go up and purge the reclamation tank. Why? I believe I shall, kind sir. I believe I shall. And there's the force field door, so leave that alone and instead go this way. Turn the wheel, or the valve, and immediately come in here. One thing I did not mention before is there is fall damage in this game, so if you wait until now to drop in, you're going to take some serious damage, so don't do that. Anyway, back into the sewers. Crank on another rad suit, and let's get it going. We got plenty more sewery adventures waiting for us with tons and tons of stalkers. And sentinels, can't forget about the sentinels. But the ultimate goal of this part of the sewers is actually to open that door and trigger the switch on the other side. That's where the main objective is. But we have to raise this sewage level to do so, which we cannot do from here. And if you drop down here, you can just open the other side of this door. This door is locked from this side. But, let us continue towards our objective. There's actually a couple of sentinels up here I want to take care of. So they're not just randomly floating about. Now this switch actually raises this center platform here. You will eventually drop it to forge a new path, but this switch raises it back up, which you will have to do a bit later. That brick. Didn't we pass that brick? 
snow. Now there's a turret over there. What we're gonna do is just actually, you know what? Let's turn on another suit of leather armor and just charge. Oh crap! Why are you over here? I think the auto aim works for the enemies too, because I'm pretty sure he shot at that stalker. But we can just go ahead and punch this guy, and then rocket this guy. And then we're going to go this way, into this little corner-facing door here. Go ahead and watch for the Acolyte. Get the bullets, which we definitely need. And also another Enviro suit. And I think those are more uh, Sentinels that are trapped behind a wall, so you can't get them right now, so do not worry. But here is the switch that lowers the center platform, which I believe... Don't ask me where we are. I'm lost, too. Sorry. I believe is what we do not have to do yet because we have to go in here first. Inside this room is the valve that raises the sewage level in the um, room that we started back inside. So, we'll go inside here. Go ahead and take out the stalker. Come on. There we are. And there's a sentinel inside that pipe room. Go ahead and take him out. Get all the lovely supplies. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to use at least a couple of these med patches. Excellent. Get the box of bullets, and turn that valve. So the sewage level back in the first room is now raised. We can now complete the main objective, but oh, we're not done yet. We have plenty more bad guys to deal with. So we shall now drop down this platform. Now we already took care of the uh, sentinels in here, so now we can just kind of freely roam about. This suit's about to run out, so I'll go ahead and use another one. And grab the one that was laying there. And if you open this door, we're back out here. Now, don't get on, stuck on the other side, because that door still will not open from the other side. So, just stay in here. We're going to jump to the other side now and do the same thing. Get some lovely items, a box of bullets, and a mag. Yes, I'll take them. And then most importantly, head back onto this platform, a jump across. Don't worry if you don't make the jump, you can lower it like an elevator. And then open this door. That door stays open permanently, so you will not become stuck if you wind up over here. But we have risen the sewage level. It is time to go back and destroy those gate controls. That's how we're going to gain entrance to the Order's castle and take the Order on even footing. Take them on our terms. And here we are. Sewage level raised. Go inside here. There are a couple sentinels, so... Go ahead and take them out. I'm not sure, but sometimes I think I know some of the Acolytes. Eh, that's more true than you may realize. But anywho, this is where we get to destroy the gate controls. But before we do, head inside this device here. Make sure Mr. Uh, Peasant here is to your left. Head straight through and open this left corner wall for the level's one and only secret. Energy pack, a box of bullets, and a med patch, or a kit, which I guess I'll go ahead and use since, oop, that's not it. I will not be coming back here, so I might as well. Now we're gonna enter the ventilation duct, or the, rather the maintenance duct. Take out the sentinel, go upstairs, flip this switch, and there's those pesky gate controls. Well, a one and a two, and they're gone. The castle is now open for business. Command, he's done it. The gates are open. Send in the shock troops and tell Mesa we're coming in. Hell yeah. I'm doing my part. But we're not quite done here. Oh no. We have the rest of the enemies to take out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to enjoy doing it. Oh yes we are. Oh, that sewage is super strong. Let's, uh, let's not take any stupid chances here. There we go. It's a sentinel party over here. Well, what good's a sentinel party without tons and tons of finger-shaped missiles? Alright. And look at that, we still have 164 missiles, that is nuts. That's why you go ahead and buy that satchel as soon as you can. Get that double ammo capacity before the real action kicks in. And then, now that we've destroyed the gate controls, all those enemies that were stuck behind walls are now freed. And most, if not all of them, are going to be sentinels, including two... Over here. Uh-uh, I see you floating. Go ahead and take care of them. 
And from here, we're actually going to go back through this door back into the first area. And then we're going to take that... Hello? Did someone just teleport? Don't squish me. That's actually quite risky, because you can get squished. <laughs> I've never heard an enemy use that teleporter before, though, so I was kind of taken aback by that sound. Let's go, go ahead and go back up this elevator, because there are two enemies up this way. Stalkers, to be specific. Right over here. Go ahead and blow them up. And then the final two enemies... Should be in the big area where the field surgery kit will... Oh, actually, no, 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 no. They're in the Rat King area. Um, I'm going to go back up here. I probably should have gone ahead and taken care of them first before going up the other elevator, but oh well. That's the adventuring in the sewers for you. You never know what you want to do first. There you are. I see those green lights. Get out of here. All right. The sewers have been uh, sewered. Yeah, we sewer the hell out of those sewers. And I believe... I don't think there's any um, items left in that storage room in the main area, and I did get that field surgery kit. So I think we'll just go ahead and leave. We'll go ahead and go up this way where we got the guard's uniform. And then from there... Oh boy. A couple more errands and we're on our way to the castle. Put away the loud weapon. Alright. Let's get back to the front base, says my mission pop-up. Well, before we do that, let's take this lovely flamethrower part to Irali. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Fixer. Flamethrower, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo, listen to it burn. Now, we might use it in the next map, but... I'll see. We're still kind of low on energy. You can max out at 800, I think. Yeah, after getting the satchel. So, we got a bit more ammo to collect before we just go about using it all willy-nilly. But for right now, let's get our asses back to the front base. We must talk with Mr. Maisel. I'm sure he has new info for us. Mr. Maisel, I have returned. You've exceeded all our expectations. Because of your daring, our troops are on the move. I want you two to join the assault with a specific target. Take out the programmer. It's time to reveal what we found out about this layer of the order. Tell me what we know. The genetic mutations caused by the virus not only warp the psyches of the order, but cause their bodies to decay. Without procreation, the Order found that biomechanical enhancements were the only way to maintain their strength in numbers. The decay has advanced so that most of the troops we face are more machine than man, but we believe that their collective consciousness is controlled by one source. The Programmer, creator of the AI which controls the Acolytes. Destroy the Programmer, and we may cripple the Order's troops with a single blow. But caution, we have reports he can vaporize attackers. The Programmer's lair is in the castle. Now, see the medic, grab some ammo, and go get him. Make sure you're ready for the fight of your life. No scrimping. Spend everything you've got. Let me at him. Fight for the front and freedom. Move out. All right, it is time to stock up and, most importantly, get our third upgrade. There we go. Accuracy 30 out of 100. Stamina 30 out of 100. All right, and before we head to the castle and end things, we are going to, like Blackbird said, stock up. No scrimping allowed. We have over 1,400 gold. It's time to spin that. Not all of it, of course. A few hundred. But let's see, I need a lot of rifle rounds, so, Mr. Irali, give me them boxes of bullets, please. Let's see, da 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 and a magazine to top it all off, thank you, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Let's go to, um, 
You know what? Go ahead and top me off on those electric bolts for five credits each. Thank you, sir. Now let's see. What do I, ooh, I need some leather armor. Hey, Mr. Armorer, I'll take four suits of leather armor, pretty please. Thank you. All right, what else do we need here? I could go ahead and buy three more field surgery kits. You know what? Yeah, no scrimping. Bye, 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 bye. Like NSYNC said, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> yeah. All right, and I think we are full on every ammo type we can possibly be full of, except for rockets, grenades, um, because we can't we can't buy rockets or grenades yet or energy. We will be able to once we take the castle. Because, spoiler alert, once we take the castle, the front will make that its new official base. And they will abandon the one that they have now. But the abandoned base does become a new map, which does have a new secret in it, which is the same secret as before, admittedly. But, yeah. I think for right now, we've got everything we need. We are healthed up. We are armored up. We are ammoed up. It's time to take this fight right to the Order's front door. And one thing I did forget to mention, when you get your uh, stamina upgrades... It does also fully restore your health. It's basically like a free field surgery kit. So you get an upgrade and you get a full restore all at the same time. Pretty nifty, yeah? Anywho, hope you're ready, Order, because here we are. But of course, that is where things will end for right now. Oh man. So yes, the sewers. It's a sewer level. There's not really much else to say about it. Hopefully the path that I showed is the quickest and easiest uh, that you can deal with while also being able to find all the enemies without letting them wander about too much. And yeah, in all honesty, it's not too bad a sewer level. Like once you once you find all the interconnecting paths of which there's like one or two, the rest of it isn't isn't really that hard and you know, uh, the worst part kind of is having to go to the a different section of the castle in order to access the rest of the sewers, but you spend like maybe a minute in that section of the castle, so it's not overly confusing. The most confusing part is, at least <laughs> my first time playing, and then my first time in a while playing, is figuring out the path to take to turn that valve to raise the sewage level to destroy those gate controls, but once you get that figured out, it's just a matter of getting through alive, and then getting your third stamina and accuracy upgrades and buying all the shit you need. And that's exactly what we did. And as you can see, right up yonder, we already have four kills, an Acolyte and three Stalkers. There are 73 more enemies to kill, and five of those 73 will not be available immediately. I think it's three Acolytes and two Crusaders, which we will be seeing plenty of in this map, so that's something to look forward to. But yes, by the time we clear out the castle on the initial run, um, this castle is also a bit of a hub. There's two other, well, technically three other maps you can access from the castle, so we'll be tackling all those as well. Uh, but yes, the remaining five enemies will not be accessed until we get a certain key from a certain person. And who that person is, we will find out next time. But for right now, that was the lovely, very aromatic sewers, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an awesome rest of your day. I am out of here for right now, and next time... On the next episode of Strife Ball Z, we take the fight right to the Order's front door, and we leave no son of a bitch alive. But until that time comes, I will see you all next time. See y'all later, and get the hell out of my house.